Listen, I know what y'all came to see. I'm not gonna clickbait y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all where I got the hood from, how it came, what I needed to do to it before I can get it installed because it's not just a simple install. Um, how much I paid to get it painted and all that good stuff, all right? But all I'm gonna do before I do that is ask you to do one thing for me, all right? One, I need you to watch at least two minutes of my POV after I'm done explaining this just so I can get help with the algorithm, all right? I'm trying to blow up. That's all I need from y'all, and I'm dropping the sauce, all right? So let my intro play real quick, and then we're gonna come back and get straight into it. All right, so look, I got the hood from Amiri Hood. Amiri Hood is the vendor, I believe, not the website. So if you go on Google and type in the Miri Hood, you will see a bunch of different websites that's selling this hood. At least for me, that's how it went. But I'm gonna give y'all the link to the exact place that I got this hood from in the description. Now, when the hood comes, first thing you need to know, it's gonna arrive in an 18 wheeler. All right, so if you live in like an apartment complex or somewhere like it's a tight spot, they're not gonna be able to deliver to your doorstep. You're gonna have to go get it. And they're not helping you. They dropping that shit off and they gone, all right? So you should know that. It's not that heavy though. It, it almost feel like plastic, if I'm being honest. It's kind of lightweight. So it's not as heavy as you think it would be because it's fiberglass. Um, it comes unpainted, white. The vents is unpainted. So the vents gonna come, it's gonna be like silver and stuff. Uh, the main thing that I didn't know when it came through and I got it put on, before the paint, this is before the paint. When I got it put on, there was no holes right here for the, for the window washer, whatever it's called. You know, when, it, when you wiping your windows off this wasn't here so i had to pay for them to install these and then uh the cable that, c that comes on your oem hood that like runs the water into these they had to do some stuff to it to like rewire it you know they had to do their thing on that so it worked properly so just know when you get the hood it doesn't come just ready to install so if you install it yourself if you don't know how to um, cut holes and put those right there then you just won't have nothing to wipe your windows off if it gets rainy or whatever i don't know but yeah that, that was one of the big things after that, getting it painted, I went through Mako. They actually did a terrible job. I ain't gonna cap. I don't know if you could tell on camera, but like in person, you can kind of see the difference. Maybe not at a red light, but at a car show, if you're really looking closely, you can see the difference. But anyway, that's besides the point. To get it painted, well, first of all, the hood. I forgot to tell y'all the price. The price was like eight fifty on the hood, with shipping and tax and all that stuff. But the price to get it painted was like I say about six fifty or something like that. Um, I got both sides painted. And I told them to make sure they paint the cages the same color as the hood. But I think most people who buy this hood probably won't get it painted. They'll probably just get like a regular wrap. That's what most people do. So yeah, there's that. Um, another thing that's important that a lot of people ask is are these vents and this hood scoop, is it, does it, is it on um, what you call it functional? Yes, it's functional. I'm gonna pop the hood for you real quick. So everything under the hood is fully functional. The hood scoop, so you can see the hood scoop, boom. It comes in, goes out through here, and then the air goes out through here. The only issue that I ran into with the 5.7, at least with the air intake that I have, the air intake lines up right here, and then this part where the air comes out, it lines up like right here. So I feel like the air isn't fully getting all the way into the air filter, but the only reason I ain't like do something to mod that, cause you can get like a piece of metal and kind of just bridge it over so the air gets in here. Um, I'm getting a 6.4 installed in two days. I'm getting a full swap, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, it is fully functional. And then you can see the heat vents where the heat comes out. You can see them on the side. You can see them on the side, see them on the side. And then one of the big thing that I was worried about when I bought this is will my coat air intake get wet? As you can see, um, the heat vents where the water would get in, it's only in the back and then both right here, but they don't have one right above the coat air intake. So I go through car washes, I go through rain, like whatever this never gets wet so you good if that's what you're worried about if you go through and get the hood that i got with the link that's in my description but yeah that's pretty much it on the hoods man oh also you can see what i was talking about with the i can't the windshield fluid you can see what i mean how they had to wire it it's a little janky i told you they didn't do a great job but it works so i don't trip but yeah man that's pretty much it on the hood so now that i did my part i think y'all gotta do y'all part and watch this pov And we're back, and we're back. Y'all gotta hold up y'all part of the deal, bro. Y'all can't click off the video for the next two minutes. Y'all gotta stay on this video and watch my POV. 
Keep the, keep y'all into the bargain. All right. If you kept your end of the bargain, I need you to comment and say I'm a real one. Say I stayed, bro. I ain't play you. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, what I just drive over? Oh shit. I just drove over something. Y'all gotta keep y'all into the bargain. I hope y'all still watching. Cause if you're not, you're wrong. Cause I, I I gave you the sauce. I told I gave you the part that you wanted right now. You can help me out. I need I need two minutes of your time. That's it. Let's talk about life real quick. I got a swap coming up in two days, y'all. I can't wait to record every single last bit of it too. It's gonna be amazing, man. It's gonna be great. I hope y'all ready for it, cause I'm ready for it. It's gonna be amazing, I'm telling you. Believe me. Oh, ooh, oh, ooh. Yes, sir. Gotta love that POV. One handed POV. All right, I'm gonna give y'all one last pull, then y'all can leave. Just one pull, bro. That's all. Just stay for this one pull, bro. Thank you.